Hi everybody, so today I'm going to show you how you can make a sensory board for your baby. So I've just got some things that I've collected from around the home. So I've got a piece of cardboard and some um, old baby wipe lids. I've got a pipe cleaner, a drinking straw and some foil. And then I've got my glue to stick it all down with. I'm going to use super glue to stick the plastic lids down because the um, glue gun didn't work before. So this is one that I've made earlier. I painted the piece of car just to make it look a bit nicer and then I've stuck all the baby wipe lids down with some super glue and then used my glue gun just to stick things inside. So I'll just show you what I've used to give you some ideas. So I've got a plastic drinking straw, some pipe cleaners, a piece of fabric that I found, some bubble wrap, some tin foil, a piece of felt, some wool, and then I've just left one blank as well. So this is a good activity for helping your baby build up the little muscles in their hands when they're lifting up the lids. I think most babies love to get in a baby wipe packet, so this is a good chance for them to practice that in a safe way and explore different textures in a safe way because everything's stuck down so they're not going to be able to put things in their mouth. If you haven't got any baby wipe lids or you've got a younger baby who wouldn't be able to lift the lids up yet, you can simply stick things of different shapes, sizes, textures to the piece of cardboard or you can make cardboard flaps and stick things underneath those as well. Sensory play is great for your baby's brain development. It includes anything that will stimulate your baby's sense of touch and taste, of smell, their sense of hearing, and their sense of sight. This kind of activity encourages babies to play, explore and investigate naturally, building their own connections in their brains and the repetitive nature of the play will strengthen these connections.